Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and this is a video where we will talk about the task manager in Windows 7 and what it does. So the task manager which is available if you just right click in the taskbar at the bottom of your screen just click start task manager. The task manager has lots of little um, features where it will tell you what performance issues might be um, the problem in your computer. So if you have, for example, a slow computer and you're wondering, well, is the CPU working too much? Often you'll know because the CPU um, fans will actually be working really hard. So what you do is um, the task manager will actually show you, first of all, in the first tab, the applications. That's all the programs that are actually running. And what's nice about the task manager is also that that's where you usually go to uh, when you do that famous control alt delete uh, keyboard sequence. You actually start the task manager. And the applications that are frozen, you can actually click on them here and end the task, first of all. So if you have a stuck application, um, that is the where to go. And the other features that you'll see is the processes. It will tell you which process are working in the computer and also how much of the CPU and memory it is using. So this is very uh, interesting because it will often be one process that tends to like run away really, really bad that makes a computer go slow very often. So you can look at what process are actually working and you can actually quit processes. For example, I've got a OneNote. I don't even use it. I can end process and then say, yeah, end the process of OneNote. I don't want that. And it disappears from the task. So um, if you have performance issues, you can check what task here is actually uh, using lots of CPU time and you if you don't know what it is you can also Google these processes so for example if you don't know what um, uh, I don't know the uh, first one ATIECLXX.exe what's that well basically it's probably my graphics card which is an ATI here um, if you don't know what it is, just go and Google it and it's going to tell you, okay, this is a Windows process that does this or that. And you'll know if you can end the process or not. Uh, then you can see the services that are actually running and which ones are running, which ones are stopped. So if you have problems with some issues, with problems with um, Windows or uh, some install problems, and it's saying, well, some of this or that process is not running or not good. You can actually click the services and see which ones are running. And if you want to modify, you can go into the services tab right here at the bottom or the right. Next is the performance issue. Well, performance is basically showing you graphically how your computer is being used. For example, here I did little spikes by moving the window. You will also see the CPU usage, which is at zero now because I don't do nothing with the computer at this time. <coughs> Sorry. You will see the physical memory, the amount of total memory you have, and what's available. So here it says the amount of memory is 3,000, so 3,000 megabytes, which is 3 gigs. Uh, cached 731 is available, is 2.4 gigs basically, and free 1793. So you see here what amount of memory is used, how much memory you have. Um, then you have the kernel memory, um, page and non-page, which is very technical Windows mumbo jumbo that's not really useful. And uh, finally, you see here the uptime of the computer, the number of processes and threads that it's actually handling, and um, how much um, of the uh, megabytes of uh, the uh, cache is actually being used. You also have networking which will show you 
the speeds of the in and out of your connection so if you have lots of data if you're downloading for example a torrent or a file you'll see here the speeds are gonna show up there and gr the graphics and uh, it's interesting because it also lets you know what's the speed of the connection between your uh, for example here my router and my wireless network adapter in my computer um, and if you don't have a router you will see it in the local area connection which is a direct and finally the users which will tell you which users are active this uh, time is only my user for the videos but if you have multiple users uh, all working they will all show up here on the uh, users tab so this is a quick explanation of the Windows task manager and um, basically uh, by having all that information about what processes and the percentage of CPU it uses, the uh, performance tab, um, also the applications that are open, you can get a little bit more information about what programs or what Windows process might be slowing down your computer. And um, of course you can end this task in this process. Uh, the task manager will also uh, sometimes show viruses so if you have a virus in your computer you might want to take a look at applications and also the process what are the processes that are actually working if you see something that you google and says oh that's a virus you know that you can end that process and which will end the virus and then clean up your computer with an antivirus software of some sort. And so uh, you can also check the performance, of course, and see if everything's going well or if your computer is really, really um, going slow because its CPU usage is high and it's really, really running low. And this is another great little way of knowing also if you have enough memory for what you're doing because you usually want to have available or free me uh, memory uh, in the you know several hundreds of megabytes and even here we were in the thousand megabytes of so the gigabytes which means that I have really enough memory to run my Windows 7 install here uh, there's no problem with that but if it says that available or free is close to zero or only 100 or 200 megabytes uh, well, you might want to think about putting more memory in your computer, for example. So, um, the task manager, which is available by right-clicking at the bottom on the taskbar and clicking the Start Task Manager, available in Windows 7. If you enjoy these videos and enjoy, uh, want to learn more about Windows 7, click the Subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of all the videos we put online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know also. We'll try to uh, answer any questions. Maybe you have a request of a video you'd like to see, let us know. We'll try to do something about that. And of course, hope you come back often to the official Windows 7 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.